couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video we're going to discuss something very important to us all which is hand and arm safety. We're going to learn a few simple methods to keep our hands safe from injuries such as carpal tunnel syndrome, tendinitis, and muscle cramps. Now before you even approach the guitar, there are a few simple stretching exercises we can apply. And after I show you the stretching exercises, I'm going to discuss a little bit about your playing and how to keep your hands safe from injury while playing. Now, um, put your guitar away and let's uh, discuss the stretching exercises. So, the first one is this. Put the tips of your fingers together like this. Keep your hands straight, okay? Not like this, like this, okay? Push the tips of your fingers together, okay? Forcefully. And you should feel the pressure around here, okay? And you push, okay? Keep this for about 10 seconds and then slowly Start bringing your hands together, still pushing the tips of your fingers together, okay, until you reach the praying position. Then you keep pushing, okay, and you should feel the pressure now in your shoulders. And you keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep this for 10 seconds, and then slowly pull your hands apart while still pushing the tips of your fingers together, okay, and repeat this about four or five times, okay. Now, again, if this starts to hurt, let go, okay, take a few breaths, and do it again. The second exercise is this, intertwine your fingers and do this, okay? Maybe you should hear your uh, knuckles pop a little, okay, as you hear mine. Just figure eights, okay, figure eights, like this. Okay, you, you can even exaggerate the figure eights and involve your shoulders. Okay, just keep this going for 15 seconds, 20 seconds. This shouldn't hurt. It just releases the tendons and the muscle. Okay? He doesn't understand what I'm doing. Okay, this is the second exercise. Not anything difficult, right? Then, um, grab your thumbs. Okay? Grab your thumbs. Keep your hands straight and pull the thumbs. Okay? Pull the thumbs. Again. Nothing fancy, just pulling the thumbs. Keep this for about 10 seconds, or 20, or 30, whichever is comfortable for you, but 10 seconds should suffice. Then do this. Push your fingers with the thumb, okay? Into your hand, okay? Keep your hands straight if you want. Okay, this should give it a bit more stretch. Okay, and then do it with the other hand. Okay, you hear my fingers pop, okay? Just this. Hey, you, should, uh, you, you shouldn't just stretch them for long periods of time, just one finger at a time, and this is it. You can do both hands at the same time, of course. Then, the next exercise is this. Reach for your other shoulder, put your arm over your arm, and stretch. Okay, keep your hands straight. The next one is the same thing, the other way around. Then do this, grab your, um, your elbow above your head and pull. You should feel the um, shoulder blades stretch, okay, and the side stretch, okay, and keep this for about 10 or 15 seconds. I know this lesson isn't musical. Complaints, always complaints, and then the other way around. Okay? Don't forget to breathe. The next exercise involves a table. Find a table with stuff on it, something heavy on it, so you can't lift it. Put your hands underneath the table and push. Okay? Don't use your back, just your arms. Mm. Keep this for about 10 seconds and then let go. And the last exercise, the last stretching exercise is this. Grab your fingers and pull. Pull your entire palm. Okay, keep your hands straight and pull. Okay, you should really feel the stretch over here. Okay? For about 10 seconds or 15 seconds, let go. Do it with your second hand. This should be the last exercise when your hand is already warm. 
Okay? Then take your guitar and start doing warm-up exercises. Now, the warm-up exercises, I'm going to do um, the next lesson on warm-up exercises. I'm going to give you tons of exercises that will also uh, work your finger strength and uh, also be a bit creative and not boring stuff. And then after you finish the warm-up exercises, start playing. Now, remember, don't, um, don't bend your wrist. Keep your hands straight at all times, okay? Keep your hands straight, your wrist straight. Not like this. This should really seriously hurt your hand. Um, and this is really bad practice. And um, remember to keep your hands loose. If you feel yourself uh, overdoing it and you feel the muscles, let go and do this, okay? Do this for a few seconds and then come back. You should be relaxed while playing. Okay? You should feel the fluidity of your motion, okay? The fluidity of motion, not too much force, not filling your muscles. Don't exert too much force. Some people, when they play, they exert too much force and then they start feeling their necks or their shoulder blades or their trapezoid muscle. And um, that's really bad practice and it shows that you're trying too hard. Just do this, take a few deep breaths and then return to playing. Okay, you should be relaxed, you should enjoy yourself. Don't worry too much. It's, it's even psychological at times. You think you should play perfectly and you put too much pressure on yourself and then you, uh, it, it, it just becomes physical just becomes a physical thing and you feel the pressure. So just let go, do this, stand up, jump uh, in place just a couple of times just to relax your body and then come back to playing. This is the best advice I can give you right now. The next lesson will uh, focus on warm-up exercises. Trust me, it's not gonna be boring at all. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with those warm-up exercises. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and tell all your friends about Lick and Riff if they wanna learn how to play guitar. Everything here is for free, so they should enjoy it too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.